So Mr Carstensen says he was in Europe on the 23rd of April on personal leave and was going to go straight from Europe to Melbourne, where he lives apparently, when he was contacted by Mr Burns by via email, SMS and voice call to tell me he had arranged a meeting with Mr Hockey and I had to fly home via Washington to meet with him. I asked Mr Burns how this could be done so quickly and he verbally advised me, Hockey owes me. Hockey owes me. I found that owes me comment strange in the circumstances. Still all good? No comment from the Minister? Well, Senator, you're reading an email from a third party. Yeah, who claims that a meeting which, discussed, which was a pitch meeting, and I would put to you that that is a reasonable descriptor, given both this email and the emails that DFAT has now provided. Senator, a pitch email from a finished. company in which the ambassador no, has a financial interest, arranged at short notice by a bloke who claims that the ambassador owes him. Does anybody consider that to be a problem? So, Senator, I, I suspect the, the Australian language, people do, but does anybody at the table consider Senator, that to be a problem? The language that you're using, as I've said, as I tried to say, um, is contained in an email from a third party, uh, which we have no opportunity to uh, verify with uh, those about whom it is written or of whom it is written. Uh, so you, I presume, will continue to read it into the record and we are in the uh, position of not being able to seek a response on any of the assertions or statements made in the letter. That does put the department and okay. senior officials at a disadvantage, Senator. 